Hey guys, I'm back after a really long time, and today I have another tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to use a program called Open Remote Play. Now what this program does is let you see your PS3 screen on your computer. So to use this program, you'll need a couple of things. The first thing that you need is a PSP that is hacked. This lets you put on the homebrew files. The next thing that you want is a USB cable that plugs into your PSP. Your PS3 charging cable for your controller should work just fine. And the last thing that you want is about 15 meg of space on your hard drive, which everybody should have. So the first thing that you want to do is open up Firefox or whatever internet browser that you use and let that boot up. The website that you want to go to is going to be in the sidebar as usual. And the website is www.ps3-hacks.com. And let that boot up. Now go to the bottom and click on ORP version 1.2 beta windows because that's what we're using and click download. So it's about 5 meg and when you extract the file it should be about 15 meg. So save the file. I've already done it and I've saved it to my desktop. So it should be something like this ORP-1.2-beta-w32.zip. So use a program like WinRAR or WinZip to extract the folder right click and click extract here and there it is so you can open that up and you'll see a couple of files here so see this ORP underscore export you want to turn on your PSP and put it into USB mode let your computer chime and click open folder to view files now what you want to do is get to the PSP folder and go to the game. Now you simply all that you want to do is drag the ORP underscore export and drag it into your PSP folder. And it should be like this. Now go back to your root and press circle on your PSP, taking it out of USB. So now what you want to do is go to your PSP and go to the games folder and you'll see a program called Open Remote Play Exporter. Start that up. So if all worked out correctly, you should see a black screen and it should say Open Remote Play Exporter with an exclamation point. It should tell you the name and name of your PS3 and your PSP and the MAC address of both, and your PSP ID and the private key. And it should say configuration save to root colon export.org. Press home to quit. So do exactly that and press the home button and quit the game. So now what you want to do is go back to the USB connection again and wait for the chime on your computer. And click open folder, and you should see that you have a folder called export.org okay so you want to drag this and put it into your extracted folder so you should have this so you should have these files on your computer cross out of your F drive and now you can actually start the program it should be orpui.exe this is my PS3 that I had, but for this, I'll just delete it and I'll start a new one. So you should see something like this. Click import and click the export.org that you just got from your PSP. It should, it should show up with all the things that it got from the game that we started up. So the only thing that you have to change is the address slash port number. As you can see here, it says 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. So on your PS3, you have to go to the settings tab and go all the way to the bottom that says network settings. Now click on settings and connection status list. You should see your IP address marked as the fifth one. So copy and paste that from your PS3. I'm going to cover it up because I don't want you to see it. But it should be 192 dot the rest of the numbers are yours individually. So click save and leave everything else normal. 
So click save. And you should see it named as Xenon PS3. That's my PS3's name. And the address. So click circle on your PS3. And you want to go to the network tab. And go to the remote play. You should see something saying connect the PSP system using a remote play connection. You don't need to do anything with your PS3, PSP from now on. Just click on Xenon PS3 or whatever your PS3's name and click launch and hopefully it should work. And as you can see, this is my PS3 working just fine. So let me run through a couple of things. To go in full screen mode, just press Ctrl and F. So it should be in full screen. As you can see, this is my media server, which is my laptop, and everything's working just fine. You can read the README file, and it'll tell you what are the controls for your laptop if you're using a PC. And there is a program called DualShock 3 Motion Notion thing, and you can run that if you have Bluetooth 2.0 on your computer. Sadly, I do not have a Bluetooth 2.0 card, but you can see that you can go to your to your name and you can add me on PlayStation Network. My name is Nano Thunder. You can view, view trophies and stuff. And escape is the circle button. And once you're done, you can go to turn off system. And do you want to turn off the system? You just click yes. And it should exit you out of the program. So this is how you use Open Remote Play. If you like the video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment. I know this gets kind of confusing at times, so just leave a comment if you have any problems. Thanks for watching.